click the bell icon to turn on notifications. In this module, I'll discuss converting an image to black and white. First, I'll show you a couple of ways you can do this, and then I'll show you what's probably the most preferred method. One method you could use, but I don't entirely recommend, is to change your color mode on your image. You could change this to grayscale and discard all the color information in your image. And this could work, but you should know that if you do this, you won't be able to use any kind of color in your image from that point on, unless you revert it back to a color mode, which would take away your grayscale result. So I don't recommend this method. Another thing you could do is to create a hue saturation layer. And you can turn the saturation all the way down. This also works. You can adjust the lightness. But you don't have much control over your results. A better way to do this that gives you more control over your result is to go to Enhance and convert to black and white. Now you have this dialog where you have multiple different sliders you can use to adjust it by specific color you can adjust the contrast you can even choose different styles if you want to undo or redo a change you perform in this menu, you can click on these. And if you want to reset everything to where it was in the beginning, just click Reset. And once you're done, click OK. Now you can have a grayscale photo that you've customized. That wraps up this video about converting an image to black and white. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.